got kissed by a girl for the first time and passed out. Reddit. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you lately? Freshman year of college. Didn't have my sleep schedule down quite right so I ended up doing a lot of dozing off in classes. So this one day in chemistry lecture I fell asleep in class only to be awoken by the sound of my own squake of a fart. In a room full of 150 plus freshman sophomore college students. My friend next to me was dying trying to hold in his laughter. And you could just tell everyone in the room heard it but was doing an amazing job suppressing their laughter. Luckily the professor didn't hear it at all and just kept on teaching. He heard. When I was applying for the teaching program at my university I walked in the door for our interview. Tripped. Did a face plant. And looking up from the floor said, I'd like to be a teacher please. Needless to say the interviewing profs never forgot me. I was about 7 months pregnant at the time. I went into work on my day off to get my check and get it cashed at the bank at the front. I was next in line when I started feeling really hot and dizzy. There was a guy behind me that I turned to and I guess I said something to him that was basically gibberish. I don't remember this part and then face planted into him, knocking him down with me. I had passed out. It took me a while to come back to my senses and by that time the paramedics were there saying they had to take me to the air. All my co-workers watched me being rolled out, and after finding out I was okay, made fun of me for trying to molest a man by using him as a bed. I still wish I could apologize to him, but I have no idea who he was, nor could I really point him out in a crowd. To be honest, he probably didn't care much. I mean he most likely saw you were pregnant. Weird crap happens when you're pregnant. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I was at the gym, and had eaten about 30 minutes before. I thought that would be enough time to digest. I was about a mile and a half into my 2 miles on the treadmill, when I started to feel a little nauseous. But I was close to finishing, so I didn't want to slow down. About a quarter mile later I realized I was going to vomit, no matter if I stopped or not. So I stepped off the treadmill and tripped, falling straight on my stomach. Of course this made vomit my half digested tuna sandwich all over the floor. I just laid there and groaned while everyone stared. Not my finest moment. I am the guy who always passes out during the health class movies. Gross stuff. People telling surgery stories, etc. So when my wife got pregnant we signed up for Lamar's classes for whatever reason people do that. I was pretty good until one day they decided it would be a good idea to give a slideshow on caesarean sections. Needless to say, the one of them yanking the baby head through the gaping wound was enough to put me down. But for me the act of passing out involves a lot of fanfare such as spasmodic motions, farting, snorting and gasping sounds, profuse sweating, and on this occasion the full release of my bladder. So it was great to have 30 strange people huddled over me yelling call 9. One, one, and are you okay and he pee his pants when I came to. I was mortified and just walked off. Plot twist, my daughter was actually delivered caesarean and I was there during the whole thing. Congrats on your daughter. Passed out on the gynecologist's bed, in all stirruping glory, I was out for about 10 minutes. Woke up in the same position spread eagled with two extremely concerned nurses at my head holding me, preventing me from falling off the bed. Needless to say that is the most awkward way I have ever woken up. We were playing a game in 8th grade, and the ball came hurling towards my head, so I had to duck. When I ducked, I farted really loud. The class started cracking up. My girlfriend asked me to, officially, be her boyfriend and I got a raging hard on. Boy was I unprepared for that. I then awkwardly tried to cover it up but there wasn't much I could do. I have no idea if she noticed. I could see this happening if I were 15. But I am 23. If she's asking you to be her official boyfriend I don't think she should have a problem with that. This happened a while ago but I'll share it anyway. I was fairly unathletic as a kid so I wasn't much into football but thought it would be cool to try on my friend's football gear just to see what it feels like. One of the first things I pulled out of his gym bag was a protective cup. I had no idea what it was at the time and soon realized that it didn't fit well on my knees, elbows, or shoulders. The logical next step was that it must be sort of face mask or mouth cover. 
That's when Bud could no longer contain their laughter and informed me that I might as well be rubbing my friend's nuts on my face. Still talk to a few of them and they haven't forgotten. This is in a movie I swear. I think it was Little Giants. I have OCD. For a while, I had to step on certain cracks on the sidewalk several times. Because this was really time consuming, I would usually try to do it really quickly. Like running. Only that I would stay in one place while moving my feet up and down to hit the cracks. Well, one day I did this while a group of girls were walking behind me. When I stopped, they stopped, too and waited while I ran on the cracks. Then they applauded. It was the lowest point of my life. But it actually helped with that particular obsession. My aversion to being ridiculed turned out to be stronger than my desire to pursue the obsession of stepping on cracks. Now if only I could be shamed into giving up my other obsessions. If you pay me $70 a day I'll follow you around and shame you out of your rituals. I guess not lately, but the most embarrassing thing that happened to me was junior year of high school. My school held this basketball game fundraiser and for the halftime show, an MC came up and asked for two volunteers. I don't know why I felt extremely extrovert that day but I was screaming and jumping for them to notice me and to pick me. I get picked, and then some other guy also gets picked. We come on down and then the MC hands me the mic, asking me what's my name. I shout my name loudly into the mic, and this hurts the audience's ears. They all start groaning. Oops. The other guy says his name. Music starts playing in the background and I think oh crap. Please not a dance contest. And MC says you guys are going to have a dance competition freak. He lets me start. Well I have no idea how to dance. Especially in front of a huge crowd filled with all of my peers. I do some weird moves, some booty shaking cringe, and I'm all excited about it. But there's not much reaction in the crowd. My turn is over. And it's the other guy's turn and he does some generic move like the sprinkler or some crap. You know. Or the running man. Whatever ha ha. And the MC goes up to me with the mic and says cheer if you think Red did better and I'm trying to pump up the audience by cheering for myself. But it gets dead quiet. It's just me cheering for myself. The MC goes over to the other guy says cheer if you think this guy did it better and the whole audience goes into an uproar cheering for him. So freaking mortified at myself. It felt like I was trying to be myself and have fun but nobody liked it. Like a flurry of down votes. I guess. Never again. Frick being extrovert. Holy crap. Reading that made me cringe so hard. First time meeting my girlfriend's parents. Her father asks me a question as I start to swallow some pasta. I panic and try to answer the question before swallowing and proceed to choke. Crap. Better get mine in. It was grade school. I was probably 10-12 years old. A year or three before middle school. I can't remember exactly how old I was only because this wasn't the first time this happened to me, but it certainly was the first time during school. So, it's the second half of the day, right after lunch and we're back in class. I'm seated in my tribe. Teachers agreed to make teams four times a year in class. A new scrambled group of students for two three months, and probably didn't feel good. I used to be a very quiet person. I still am. But when I was younger this was much more of a problem. I didn't feel like raising my hand to ask the teacher to let me go to the washroom. Seeing as we had just come out of the lunch period, I sit and soldier my way through this bad feel. That was a horrible mistake. I felt something along the lines of having gas, like a lot of it. So I figure releasing a silent fart couldn't hurt. I do the lean back fart movement. You know, you're in your chair and you jut your legs forward into a super slouch onto the back. I underestimate the pressure built up inside me, completely underestimate it. I didn't quietly let out a much needed fart. I had evacuated my bowels in its entirety into my underwear and pants. Full on crap in my pants in class. Why it's the most embarrassing thing to me. I stayed in school until it was over, about 2 hours denying that I crap myself. Don't worry about it crapping yourself is practically initiation for it. I was walking to college and heard a shout from some way behind me. It looked like a couple of my friends. For your information, it was two girls and I'm a boy, and I was certain. So I turned around and began to walk towards them. As I got closer I was looking right at them and started worrying because they began to look more and more unfamiliar. 
It got to the point where I was just over 29 meters away, certain it's not them, yet still looking them in their eyes. I end up not walking past them but going up a road on the left, taking the biggest freaking detour ever. They must have been creeped the frick out. After class one day I was alone in the computer lab, as usual, didn't expect anyone to come in. Just finished letting out a silent but deadly when a student walked in to ask me a question. It was so putrid that his eyes started to water. Unreal dude. My most embarrassing experience was when I was going to go talk to this girl I liked. I think I was gonna try to ask her out, and I ended up tripping on this stupid rug that was right inside the door. So she went over and helped me up, but I was humiliated, so I couldn't even look her in the eye and I kinda ran away colon. Wasted opportunity. I have shared this story before, but it will never get old. I used to think that boneless chicken was special chickens grown without bones that would just flop around. I had seen a far side comic and somewhere deep in my subconscious the cartoon become a reality for me. After my family gave me plenty of crap for it, I told my friend in my math class about it, who told our teacher, who then told all of his classes. I became known as the boneless chicken girl for a while. Someone, somewhere, is currently wondering how popcorn chickens are bred. Diet Coke and Memphis with my brother whilst waiting in a busy airport. Famous last words go on. It's not like it'll explode. Worst part about it was my bro tried putting the cap back on the bottle whilst coke was shooting out. Ended up just spraying the people next to us as well. Hands down the most embarrassing event in my life. Some of the people who got sprayed laughed it off. But most of them were furious. Couldn't really blame them though. Got stoned with a girl in college and then went to a coffee shop to grab a snack. We order our coffee and sit down to wait. When our order comes up I get up to go grab it and as I'm walking to the counter I start to faint. It had never happened before so I tried to fight through it. First my hearing went, then my vision started going black. And as I'm getting to the counter and blindly reaching out for my coffee my body goes limp. I collapse in the middle of this store, spill my coffee all over myself in the process, try unsuccessfully to get up once. Then on the second try I get up and upon realization of what just happened, I just run out the door. Once safely around the corner I texted her what happened, she wasn't happy. Something very similar happened to me, except I experienced some paralysis and it ended up being a seizure. I had a seizure in front of half of my high school senior class. In class when I was younger, when everything was quiet, I couldn't keep it in and made the loudest fart known to mankind. I was doing a test in my university marketing class when out the silence, one of the guys at the back of the room punched one out. We were sitting on plastic chairs too, so it kinda amplified it. I should not be proud of this, but who would here's my time to shine. So two years ago, me and two of my best friends were seeing our female friend, me and two friends are male, for the last time before college started, when I would be moving across the country. This girl is crazy and is hitting on all of us, and was pretty drunk by now. Well, since one of the guys I was with had a girlfriend and the other is somewhat awkward, they decide I should get with her, and, well, they knew it's been a while since I have been with a girl, well, little did they know that it had been a good 20 days since I masturbated, not since last month. Anyways we start fooling around, just making out, in a separate room, and I forget that I have not touched myself in 3 weeks. She gets naked, I get naked, and I sit down on the bed, she seductively walks over, flips her dark hair over her face and eyes, coats both palms with saliva, and grips my member hard as she strokes from the top down. Once, splat, I had the most simultaneous, explosive orgasm of my life all over her face and hair. She just sits there shocked, as I launch load after load into her dark hair. Three in all. I crap you not, it was a good five six times as much as normal. Once she touches it in her hair she starts to scream, and my buddies open the door to this disaster. Needless to say, she left and I have not talked to her since. It's been two years and my friends have said nothing either. TL. DR. Don't not masturbate. Best TLDR of all time. I'm usually a pretty smooth guy, 
But one day I was so far off my game it's like I was in a foreign country. I was on campus at the ATM taking out some money to pay my roommate back for something. When two stunning girls come over from the Starbucks and start talking to me. Asking about a chemistry test we had just taken. They asked how I though I did. And I responded with. Ugh. That test gave me AIDS. Awkward laughs. Not cool. So I try to follow up with something funnier to override my fail. Well. It probably wasn't the test that gave it to me. Haha. <laughs> ha. Dead. Silence. So I motion to stick my hand out to break the tension and introduce myself. And I punch the Starbucks right out of one girl's hand. Onto the chest face torso of the second girl. Luckily it was an iced coffee. Or this girl would have some burns. The stands there like she had just seen a ghost. And her friend. Coffee punched girl. Looks at me with utter disgust. I tell her I'll go get a janitor and just run the frick home. Never looked back. Got Chinese food like a boss. But I know eventually I'll run into them. And on that day I shall cry. Jesus. Dude. Frick. That's nothing. Here's how I asked out my girlfriend. I made the dumb mistake of telling my friends that I would. So they followed me to watch. We were outside one of the gym locker bathrooms. She said no. But not just by saying. Number she laughed so hard she fell down then, clearing tears from her eyes, she says. Oh god, oh, no, sorry, but number I walked away with my head down, and slipped in a puddle of what I guess was urine. I landed face down on one of the crappy rugs that they have to wipe your feet. It caught the waistband of my pants and pulled them down under my butt. I look back over my shoulder and she's laughing her butt off. I also had a bloody nose. It was a good day, TL. DR. I was rejected by a girl, slipped, smashed my nose, then accidentally mooned the girl. Not lately, but the first time I kissed a girl I stopped after 5 seconds and said, your tongue is squishy, not that bad, but at the time I felt like a dumb ass. Was shadow boxing pretend boxing with my best mate's 4 year old son. I was kneeling. We were both laughing and having fun until he lunged forward unexpectedly and I punched him in the face. It wasn't an accident. I just hate people invading my personal space. Little glass jawed mother sucker learned a lesson that day. He better learn today. My dog got out of the house and ran down the street. I chased her. In my bathrobe. Luckily my neighbor had caught her before she went too far. Did I mention he's really attractive and had been mauled over by my dog before? Or that I was in my bathrobe, running my butt off yelling Rory? I was in the mall and a guy asked me I like your shirt. I want it. And I screeched never and ran. I hit a palm tree. Turns out he said, I like your shirt. Where'd you get it? Oops. You were unconscious for a full half hour? That sounds insane. You didn't just faint. You were out cold for half an hour. What happened? Is that an exaggeration? I had just gotten out of class at 2.30 and I didn't have class until 4 o'clock. I always go to the science building of my college and just hang out there until 4 and that day was no different. Well there is this really handsome guy in my class that usually waits there too. But we have never spoken. I think I've only ever smiled at him. Anyways. So I sit down and he's walking by with his friend and all of a sudden he asks me what's up. I was caught off guard so all I did was smile stupidly at him. And as he's leaving I hear him ask in Spanish to his friend why I didn't say anything back. His friend said it was a good sign. I couldn't look him in the eye for my whole class. It may not sound that bad but it was pretty embarrassing in the moment. Oh. Come on. You've given the most marvelous boost to her confidence. Think about it. Her kiss is so powerful. Men faint. You couldn't have given her a better compliment if you'd worked on one for weeks. Or her breath was really 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 bad. Had a girl who was just a friend over. We were watching a movie and she rested her head in my lap to watch fall asleep. I responded by poking her in the face with a raging boner. It was so blatant she had to move her head. It was awkward. Was playing basketball with the girl I liked. And one of us threw the ball over a fence. I, being the macho man I am, decided to jump the fence to retrieve it. Little did I know, the top board of the fence wasn't connected, and it fell when I tried pulling myself up. So I flipped over the fence, and got a concussion smacking my head on a metal pole on the other side. 
My middle school was a big circle, so my friend and I were walking right into the center when I tripped and my shoes and socks fell off. This random kid came and laughed at me while I was on the ground. The other day, I was eating lunch and I noticed this really cute girl checking me out. I was like okay Jillian, just play it nonchalant, it'll be okay. Then I noticed that she's giving me this pathetic look, kinda like you would a 4 year old. I then look down and realize that I was spilling my drink down my front. Great. Saw a guy getting very public BJ in a park. Crashed into a tree by the sidewalk. Shattered my front teeth. No one saw the BJ. Everyone saw me. I know you didn't post this seeking advice. But you should have told her you have narcolepsy. And then for the rest of your relationship with her you could have pretended to suffer from sleep attacks anytime she asked you to do something that you didn't want to. I walked into the washroom at a hotel bar and there were a bunch of women in there. I apologized profusely to the women and exited hastily. I then entered the other washroom and there were a bunch of women in there. Again, I apologized profusely and exited hastily. It turned out the first washroom was the men's. So, I had to stand in the hallway, red faced, until I was sure all the women had left. TL. DR. When the women in the bar take over both washrooms, you are going to get embarrassed. Just use your own washroom anyway. They shouldn't be in there in the first place. Okay I'm not one to talk, or anyone on reddit for that matter, but dang, you present as much suave and manliness as I would expect from a codfin boy. Walking through the center of Paris, had just visited the Eiffel Tower. Suddenly, I really, really needed a crap. Anyone who's been to France knows the awful state of public toilets there. They simply do not exist. I hold it in, and head for the nearest landmark. Le Musée des Invalides. Apologies for grammar. I can only read French. I hold it in as we pass the gates, ready to explode. Run into the cafe. Where's the toilet my dad shouts in French. Over there they say, and wave somewhere over to the right. We run outside. Nothing. I waddle from the knees down. Nothing. I turn around to head back. Hold it in. Almost there my dad says. Too late. A gallon of liquid crap explodes from my anus. Filling my underpants. The seat of my jeans. And dribbling down my legs. Filling up my boots. We find the toilet hidden down a set of steps next to the cafe. 45 degrees from where the girl the cafe pointed. Frick her. I spend an hour in the bathroom, wiping liquid crap off myself with toilet paper. People bang on the door, swear in French, to no avail. A couple of times I open the door to receive items from my parents. Soap, wet wipe CTC, and the coin operated door stays unlocked. People put their money in and open the door. I throw my 100 kilograms bulk behind it, slam it shut, and lock it. I was in there an hour. No clean clothes to put on. Nothing. I'd send my mother and sister off to find me something. Anything. They take Antha half an hour. Half an hour of me sitting on a bench. In the sun. Wearing crap covered jeans. They come back with a pair of shorts. Designed for 13 year old girls. The only clothes they could find. I retreat to the toilet to try put them on. They don't go past my knees. I pull my pocket knife and slice the seams almost to the hip, and they just about fit. I wrap a jump around my waist to obscure the fact that my shorts are barely covering my pubic area, and walk out triumphant. I am clean. Not one speck of crap on me. I am dry. The toilet is clean wasn't going to leave a mess. I'm too polite and British. The jeans survived. The pants. My favorite. I almost got laid in those pants. They have hula girls on them survived. From then on, I carried a spare pair of shorts in my bag. After I got out of the hospital from breaking my back in a car accident I was still in a wheelchair. Due to my limited mobility I wore basketball shorts and no underwear. I couldn't stand on my own so I had to wear a full body torso brace whenever I left the house. So I go out to lunch with my dad one day and I'm wearing this brace basketball shorts combo. We pull up in the parking lot and the handicap space has the loading and unloading blue squares on the driver's side so my dad backs it in. When I open the door and go to get out I'm facing the restaurant window and everyone inside it. I shift my legs over and get a sharp pain and just freeze. I try to gather myself and I'm sitting there trying to figure out how I'm going to get up. 
I look at the restaurant and see everyone inside staring at me. At first I'm pee off that everyone is staring at a cripple. Whatever. Frick them. I think. I being to feel a slight breeze and I look down at my groin region and lo and behold, my basketball shorts got bunched up and my nuts were hanging out in full force for the world to see. No sklong. Just nuts hanging out in front of a restaurant. Getting a tan. I was so hopped up on painkillers at the time I didn't care. I look back at it now and how traumatized I must have made these poor people that were out grabbing a bite to eat. TL. DR. Sunbathed my testicles in front of a Vietnamese restaurant. I trusted a fart and it betrayed me. I was hanging out with my crush and I shat myself. I blamed the smell on her baby and said that he needed changed. She walked out of the room to change him and I bolted. I got in my truck and drove to the gas station to throw away my boxes and clean up. Haven't seen or heard from here since. That was about 6 years ago. Today actually, I was late for a walk a ton thing and had to do the whole walk by myself. Did I mention I walked 6 miles total instead of the 1? At what point does it stop being an event, and instead just walking around aimlessly? My communications professor made us type up a resume to an internship we want to apply to, made us come into class dressed appropriately, and gave us a practice interview in front of the whole class. I was wearing a black skirt that came down to my knees with really nice heels. My resume was good and the practice interview went well. Until when I got home I realized and haven't shaved my legs in 5 days. Oh god why? If it makes you feel better, even if I did notice, I would not care in the slightest and would probably not even remember it by the next day. Such a minor thing really so don't fret. In second grade I was having diarrhea all morning and I was obviously in and out of the bathroom the whole time, but I could still feel the back end of it still refusing to come out. So I think about the third time I had to use the bathroom my teacher at this point was having none of it and just thought I was trying to get out of class over and over again. So after about 5 or so minutes of arguing with her that I really needed to go, she finally let me leave. Our classroom was about 30 yards away from the bathrooms at the end of the hallway so I felt pretty confident that I'd get there in time. Boy was I wrong. I literally got right to the door of the bathroom and felt something drop. I immediately knew what it was. I had crap myself, but this is where it gets worse. For whatever reason, my second grade self thought it was a terrific idea. I think the shock of crapping myself also made me do it, to check the damages right in the middle of this hallway. So, I pulled down my pants to see that in fact I did crap myself. At the same exact time that I pulled down my pants, my second grade crush came out of the girls bathroom and saw me, saying the Larry Mullen band pooped himself, someone help. I immediately went completely red and felt so embarrassed. Eventually the nurse came by and helped me clean myself up get new underwear etc. Still, definitely not one of my finest moments. TL. DR. Crap myself in second grade in front of my crush best girlfriend. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.